Breaking news guys, introducing the 2020 GMC Acadia. This is, well, it's a refresh, but it makes the Acadia feel a little bit less like a crossover and maybe a little bit more like a truck, at least in the styling department. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys everything that you need to know about the 2020 Acadia, including those styling updates that I already talked about a little bit, what sort of performance figures you can expect, we're gonna talk a little bit about a new trim coming to the Acadia, the tech offerings, when it will be on sale, and of course, what it's going to compete with. So let's go ahead and jump right in with the styling because that's definitely the biggest change here. So GMC has revised the exterior and updated the interior a little bit. The grill is brand new with C-shaped daytime running lights, and I actually think this looks a little bit more truck-like, takes some styling cues from the GMC Sierra pickup truck. Around the back, you have revised taillight design with taller C-shaped outer lights, sort of cut into the rear quarter panels a little bit. On the interior, there is a new push button transmission. I'm sure some of you guys will not be a huge fan of that change, but it's a little more similar to the updated GMC Terrain. Plus, there's a new updated infotainment system. What about performance and what's under the hood? Well, there is still the 2.5 liter inline four cylinder and the 3.6 liter V6, but there's also a new two liter turbocharged four cylinder that will join the lineup. That two liter turbo is standard on the SLT and Denali trims and it makes 230 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Now it does also use active fuel management, which basically means cylinder deactivation to shut down up to two cylinders when the engine is under light load. Sending that power to either the front wheels or all four wheels is a nine speed automatic transmission that replaces the old six speed in the previous model. The only other performance upgrade really to mention is the revised suspension, which GMC says should give the new Acadia a better ride and slightly better handling. Okay, I told you about a new trim, and that new trim, well, it's not new for GMC, but it is new for the Acadia, and that is the AT4 model. Now, when you're talking about GMC's, AT4 should tell you it's the off-road one, right? So this 2020 GMC Acadia AT4, well, it's sort of like an off-road appearance package. You get some darker trim pieces and cladding, more rugged tires and wheels. There's no changes to the powertrain, and you get the same ground clearance, but it looks a little bit more rugged, a little bit more off-road worthy. What about technology? Well, it's a more user-friendly infotainment system, at least according to GMC. You get an eight-inch touchscreen display with connected navigation for real-time updates, which does require a subscription, by the way, but you do get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, which is a really nice feature to have these days. There's a redesigned center console that does have wireless charging for your cell phone, which is one of my favorite new features, plus two new USB-C ports and three standard USB ports. A heads-up display is optional, although it won't be available at launch. Last but not least, you do get a rear camera mirror on the Denali trim, which is a cool feature where you can push a button on your mirror and it turns into a screen and shows you a camera that's pointing backwards. When will you be able to buy the 2020 GMC Acadia? According to GMC, it'll be available in the fall of 2019. It'll be built in Spring Hill, Tennessee, right here in the United States, but unfortunately we do not know pricing at this time. What will it be competing with? Well, these are some of the biggest competitors that we wanted to mention. First and foremost, the Honda Pilot. It also can be with the Toyota Highlander, the Kia Sorento, and the Ford Explorer. So sort of larger SUVs in the mainstream segment. There you go, guys. That's everything you need to know about the 2020 GMC Acadia. Hope you liked this video. Please drop a comment down below. Tell us what you think of the new Acadia and be sure to come back to tflcar.com for the latest news, views, real world reviews, and when we get the chance to drive one, you can be sure we're gonna bring out a bunch of videos uh, about this 2020 GMC Acadia. <laughs>